guys welcome to another video in this one we're gonna be talking about the tailwind branding strategy so let's say you have an app or anything and uh, you want to you want to give the user the ability to change maybe his primary color or accent color in our example we're gonna do the primary color to keep it nice and simple okay so let's start off with the tailwind config uh, in here we just have to set the primary color to a CSS variable that's gonna link up to primary then in, in our globals.css we have our primary red and we can see it here in the index we have it text primary what we want to do is get data from this data.json and we want to make our primary color purple in order to do this we're gonna need to create a context and we need to create a team provider inside our team provider we need to import react and then let's import our data uh, in Probably in your in your case, the data will come from either a database or an API or I don't know wherever you get the data from, but that's beside the point. And uh, let's create the context and let's first uh, make it as an empty object, so it's is no context. Then. this is perfect uh, custom team set custom team and let's do this and and it's gonna be an empty object as well and what we need to pa pass on here it's only going to be the empty custom team and let's keep TypeScript happy. Children react dot react node. All right. What we first need to do is that we need to create a function that's going to update our team. So let's do that. Function update team, which is gonna receive a team, and it's gonna have a primary which is going to be a string and then based on this we're gonna be setting the custom team to primary and it's going to be team dot primary okay this is nice and simple now we're gonna be needing a use effect so whenever our custom team is going to change we're gonna want to update the css variables actually let's import use effect okay perfect now we need to get the the document object the style object and then we need to create uh, an array of objects called CSS variables which is going to have a name which is going to be primary like this exactly the name of the variable and the value it's going to be custom team dot primary let's now that we have the css variables we just need to map through them and set our property so basically whenever our custom team changes the new css variable is going to be set 
and then we're gonna have that new that new thing now in order for us to mock a database call when we have a json i'm just gonna create a function to mock data fetch and we're gonna do exactly this we're gonna create a new promise and when it's resolved then we're gonna return the data now and team and this team needs to be as primary st string so whenever this use effect when this use effect runs and this should only run once we need to mock that data fe fetch and then update the team as needed now this is all nice and well but if we now put this team provider that we created if we put it in our app we're gonna see that the color changes but first it goes black then it goes purple and this is because custom team dot primary first it's empty so we can uh, we can give it a default color or we can just give it a random value so we can make it red like this and then it's gonna be the initial color if not it's gonna be the our branding our purple now uh, this isn't really what we want because whenever the page is gonna refresh this thing always it's going to flicker so it's going going to flicker as long as this thing is gonna is gonna get the data from the database so we need to actually save this We need to save this custom team. We need to save it in local storage. So, whenever I save something in local storage, I like to create a key for it because I think this makes it a lot a lot easier to to use. So, local storage dot set item and then we can json stringify this and now in our local storage we have our custom team in our use state we need to create a function and that's exactly what we need to do so because we were using next.js a lot of the things are going to run server side so we need to check check the type of window that is not undefined so we need to check basically that we're on the client side then we need to get the team from local storage and then if there is a team we need to parse it and set it if not then we, we're gonna return an empty object and now you can see there's still a small flicker there but now we get our color to begin with and if there is no data so if the data is like this we get our our color that was already set okay so this was the video like subscribe I don't know what people say to this stuff this was a problem that I had and uh, I wanted to share it. Thank you for watching. Bye.